VidIQ just released a massive update that completely changes how their tool looks and how their tool works, which is exactly why I wanted to upload the step-by-step -step guide on exactly how I would use VidIQ today because I started using VidIQ four years ago and I was able to get over 50 million views, 700,000 subscribers, and it allowed me to make millions of dollars for my YouTube channel. And by the way, this video isn't sponsored by VidIQ. I just love the tool, so I wanted to share with you exactly how I'd use it today to replicate the same exact results that I got when I first started using it. And to prove that to you, here are literally all the receipts that I have to vidIQ since 2020. This is by far the best tool if you want to become a full-time YouTuber. And by the way, you can get started today for just $1 for the next 30 days if you go to the pinned comment below. That's the only time I'm going to say that. If you don't already have vidIQ, I'd strongly suggest you do it. It's literally $1 for 30 days. It's an absolute no-brainer. So when it comes to vidIQ, there are two parts of this tool. There's the website that you can go to, but there's also the Chrome extension. So if we look up vidIQ Chrome extension, you're going to see it right here. And basically, you'll be able to install the Chrome extension. So first, I want to go through the Chrome extension and how I would use it. So here's how it works. When you log on to YouTube, the Chrome extension is going to allow you to see several different things. For example, it is going to allow you to see how many views per hour people's videos are getting. So what you could do is use this to spy on one of your competitors. For example, Gary V, who I used to work for before my YouTube channel blew up. Let's look at his channel right now. If we come under his videos, we're going to be able to see which one of his videos are getting the most views per hour. So what you'll actually see is that this video is getting a lot of views per hour. Even though these videos were uploaded more recently, this video is actually capturing people's attention. So what we'll want to note is the length of the video. We'll want to note the title that he's using and even the thumbnail that he's using because this is going to allow us to see, oh, this could actually be a really good video or a really good topic for you to do. But we can't stop there because if you go do a search for something, for example, how to get followers on Twitter and you have the vidIQ Chrome extension, what's going to happen is it is going to completely change the search results results that you get. So what it'll show you right here, never miss a trending video, you can create an email alert. So if a video starts to trend for this search, you can then get an email about this. And I would strongly suggest that you do this for any popular searches within your niche. But nevertheless, you want to come down here, we have volume competition. Honestly, I would completely ignore competition. You want there to be competition for what you're going to be posting for. The main thing that you want to be focused on is how many people are actually searching for this. So you'll be able to see this based off the average views or the highest amount of views and essentially what you're going to be able to see who the top creators are and who the top channels are under the search term. This right here is going to show you exactly who your competitors are. And if you come down here, it'll show you other keywords that you can rank for. So essentially there are five different search terms you could go after in addition to this one right here. And if you can rank for search, you're going to get views 24, seven, 365, because people come to YouTube every single day, search for things. On top of that, if you keep scrolling down, you're going to be able to see the top trending video. So it's this video right here, 11 views per hour, 13 views per hour, two views per hour, four views per hour. What does this tell us? That the top two videos on any search are the ones that are getting the most views. Now, if we click into one of these with the Chrome extension, you're going to be able to do so many different cool things. For example, if we scroll down here, you're going to be able to see how this video has been getting views. So as you'll see, this video started off really small and then the last 28 days started to pick up. In addition to that, you're going to be able to see exactly what video tags this this creator is using. So if you're going to create a video on a similar topic, come under here, get these tags, use them in your content. In addition, if we come under channel tags, typically you'd be able to see the different channel tags, but guess what? They have no channel tags, so it's not going to show up here. If we go under Ollie up here hey, and click on this and scroll down here, we're probably going to see that he does have channel tags. Yes, he does. We're also going to be able to see the topic that he chose for this piece of content. Now, on top of that, there are a bunch of other things that you could do. Like you can come up here, come into here, and you can go under most viewed. And then what you could do is type in a keyword, for example, YouTube algorithm. And this is going to allow you to see the top videos under here in a certain date range. So I'm going to filter this by views. And what I'm going to do is go last 30 days. And this is going to show me the top videos under YouTube algorithm from the last 30 days. And you can also add a bunch of filters here. Like you can only do this for small channels, or you could do this based off of shorts and not long form content, or you could do this based off of different areas. And essentially what you're going to be able to do here is you're going to be able to see which videos are trending for whatever search you're going to be doing. So that you can see exactly what you need to beat 
if you're going to create a piece of content within this. On top of that, if we come under here, daily ideas, actually let's ignore that for right now because it's bringing us to the website. But if we come under competitors, you're gonna be able to add a bunch of different competitors in your niche. And you're gonna be able to filter by views per hour. And you're gonna be able to filter by views. Essentially, you're gonna be able to filter by all these different things and see which one of their videos are getting the most views. And what is this gonna allow you to do? It's going to allow you to learn exactly what is trending within your niche and exactly what pieces of content you should be creating. Because if you want to get more views, you need to know what is working within your niche. And you can literally add a bunch of different competitors in here. In fact, I would strongly suggest that you do that. And this is gonna help you spy on your competitors and do better research. Now, when you actually go to upload a video, in fact, we can go in here and we're gonna upload the video that I'm gonna be uploading today on my channel. We're gonna upload that together. So we're gonna go under manage videos. We're gonna click on here. We're gonna click create. We're gonna click upload videos. Hopefully there's nothing on my computer you guys shouldn't see right here and boom. We're gonna click this. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna start to upload the video that I'm gonna be uploading today. Now I'm just gonna leave this blank, but I can come under here and I can actually get this to create the description for me. And what this is gonna do is look at the transcript of the video and then build a few different descriptions based off of that, which is going to be incredibly helpful if you get stuck with what you should have as a description. On top of that, what you could do is you could come over here and do what search term are you trying to rank for? I'm trying to rank for how to make money on Instagram, I can click preview and search. And what is this going to do? It's going to show, now obviously I don't have a thumbnail added here, but what this is gonna show is how mine is going to show up against everybody else's and guess what that does? It allows me to say, oh, I actually did a good job here, or maybe I did a bad job here. And what this is gonna allow me to do is it's gonna allow me to see whether or not I actually made a better video based off of the title, based off of the thumbnail, then the videos that my content is gonna show up against. And you could see this for the home screen, you could see this for the search screen, you could also see this for different devices. Now, if we come out of here, you're gonna see that they actually built a bunch of these, so I'm gonna go with this one right here. I'm gonna click insert, obviously, I have to add a thumbnail, my editor hasn't made that yet. I'm gonna come under playlist, I'm gonna click Instagram, blah, 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 no, no, no. And what I wanna do here now is I wanna come down to tag. So this knows what I'm actually talking about. So I'm going to click these and I'm going to click refresh, how to monetize YouTube. No, make money on Instagram. Yes. And it is going to keep giving me new tags based off of what I'm actually going to be doing. But what you could also do is type in how to make money on Instagram. And it is going to show you a bunch of other different tags under here. And what is this going to allow you to do? See which tags are the best, whichever one has the highest score here. That is going to be a tag that you should use in your content. Now at this point, I was gonna move into how you can actually use their website to do even cooler things with it IQ, but I forgot to show you how their AI chatbot works with the Chrome extension, so I'm gonna show that to you quick, and then we're gonna dive into exactly how the website works. Okay, so the next thing that you could do here is their new AI coach. So what you can do here, and my favorite things to do with this, is to click summarize this video. I also like, give me three other ideas like this. And I like when you ask it to tell you how the hook actually works. So what you could do here is if you click this right here, it brings you back to what this was. So you can also say something like, give me three similar ideas for my channel. This is going to give you a bunch of different ideas. Now, the more that you use this, the better this is going to get. I'd strongly suggest that you begin using this. For example, it just gave me three different ideas that I can use based off of this for my own specific channel. And since you hooked vidIQ up to your channel, guess what ends up happening? It makes it way better because it has your channel's data and then takes what this creator did and did it for what would work for your exact audience. Now, if we actually come into vidIQ here, I want to start at the top. So we're gonna go top to bottom here. If we click on today, we're gonna see a bunch of different stats. So a few things that we're gonna see immediately are optimize your latest video. And this is gonna allow you to optimize it. And if you click in here right now, it's thinking, but if we click optimize, this is gonna show us how we can optimize the title, how we can optimize the thumbnail, and a bunch of other different details. So right now, this is still loading because my video is still uploading on the back end, but Typically, you'd be able to optimize your videos based off of that. So we come right here and now we go to daily video ideas. This is going to show us a bunch of other different video ideas that are going to work based off of content that my audience is currently interacting with. If we wanted to generate a video title, for example, how to make money on Instagram, 
we can click right here and this is going to generate a bunch of different titles for us it's also going to show us other related keywords and essentially these are going to be people that are showing up under here so how to make money on instagram in 2024 growth operator we're going to click refine here and we're going to say make longer now what this is going to do it's going to go ahead and it's going to build us a bunch of different things here it's also going to give us a description it's also going to give us a tags that we should use now these thumbnails here i'm going to be completely honest i hate the way that these thumbnails look so i wouldn't use this this hook i wouldn't use this these outlines i wouldn't use this what i would use here that i would use these title suggestions but remember you need to make sure that you optimize these don't just take what vidIQ told you to do and use that you need to optimize it the description you could take this word for word the tags you can also take this and i would also recommend that you add some of your own in so that's what you can do under the generate tab if we come back over here you're going to see a bunch of different keyword opportunities for your specific channel in addition to that you're going to be able to see the best time to post on your specific channel and a bunch of other stats under here like what your competitor is doing and how their views are doing. As you can see in my niche generally right now, views are down for everybody. If I go to 30 days, it looks like almost everybody has seen a decrease in the amount of views that they're getting. Now today's growth plan, I would also ignore this part. This is basically just part of like the learn section where they're gonna show you a bunch of stuff, but if you already know what you're doing on YouTube, you're not going to want to do that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come under create. Now this is going to give you a bunch of different things. Like it's going to give you the topic of the day. You're going to be allowed to save all your different ideas here. You could start by entering a topic or title, and this is going to give you a bunch of different recommendations based off of that. And now for one of my favorite parts when it comes to vidIQ. So jump on emerging trends. This is going to show you a bunch of trending topics within your niche. Answer your audience. This is going to compile a lot of the comments that you get and give you good videos for them reinvent viral videos from your niche this is going to go through and find viral videos aka channels that don't have a lot of subscribers that got a lot of views within your niche and then more topics for you it's going to give you even more topics evergreen content this is going to be content that you can rank for search with and then try out search terms it's also going to give you a bunch of other search terms and then if we come down here double down on your top videos it's going to give you a bunch of your top videos videos sending you traffic this is going to show you what videos people are watching on YouTube and then going ahead and watching one of your videos. And you can fine tune this video speed by adding in your topic. For example, Instagram growth strategies. Uh, I can get rid of this. I can get rid of this. And then I'm going to say these look good. Actually, I should have, tick ah! should have TikTok strategies clicked. Should have this clicked. Should have this clicked. Then I'm going to click these look good. And essentially, this is going to change the topics that you're going to be getting based off of what you just put there. Now, I did want to show you this optimized tab because we were doing this earlier. So what you can do here is if you click into one of these, it's going to show you how to generate alternate titles. It's also going to give you some feedback on why your post is good, why your post is bad, same for the thumbnail. And then if we come under details here, it'll do the same things for your tags and it will also do the same thing for your descriptions. This is gonna allow you to optimize your content after you've already uploaded it. Now, if we come here to keywords, this is one of my favorite sections. So if I come under here, how to make money on Instagram, and I do a search for this, it's going to tell me what that search volume is. It's also gonna give me a bunch of other related keywords. For example, instead of doing how to make money on Instagram, if I did a video about how to make money on Instagram Reels, I'd probably get one ninth of the views. Why? Because this has almost 50,000 searches. This has 5,000 searches. So guess what? A lot more people are searching for how to make money on Instagram as opposed to how to make money on Instagram Reels, which is exactly why my title is going to say this, and it's not going to say that. And you need to do the same thing before you post on Instagram. But on top of that, it's going to give you a bunch of other ideas. And if we come down here, guess what this is going to show us? It's going to show us a bunch of the trending videos. So again, if we want to show up in search, we need to make sure our videos are better than these. Now, if we come over to ideas, this is just going to be a bunch of other different personal ideas. And remember, you can save these ideas and then what this will do is it'll save it when you go to today it'll show you all of your different saved ideas now a few more tabs that I really like on here this right here this coach you can always do advanced and what I would do is it'll give you a bunch of different suggested topics here and you could talk to this basically what this does is add chat GPT plus your channel data mixes them together so you can ask it a bunch of questions. If you come under competitors, this is going to be very similar to what we saw under the Chrome extension, but it's a little bit different because you're actually able to filter by a little bit different things. If we click here more, there are really only four other things that they have under here. One, 
they have SEO, which is going to show you how you could have changed certain tags on certain videos to increase the views. If we come under subscribers, this is going to show us what our subscribers are actually interested in. But personally, I think YouTube actually does a better job at this. If we come under analytics, we come under audience here. And if we scroll down a little bit, you're going to be able to see other channels your audience watches, and you're going to be able to see what your audience watches. I don't know why this is staying here. So let's refresh this. And if we scroll down again, boom, come under videos here. This is going to show us other videos that our audience is watching. And what I would suggest that you do is make sure that you're paying attention to all these because it's going to be really, really good place for you to be able to see what kind of content you should be creating based off of what your audience actually watches. It'll show you whether or not your audience watches video shorts and lives also, but if we come back over here, go under here, learn. This basically has a bunch of different like little mini courses in here that I would suggest that you check out. If you come under events, you're going to be able to see when all these people are going live. Now, if you still feel like you're struggling to grow on YouTube, I personally want to help you. In fact, I want to clear up any question that you might have about YouTube. And if you want to learn how I can do that, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here because we could hop on a phone call, I could audit your channel, or we could even do a 30 day mentorship where I literally tell you everything you need to do differently, whether you're uploading long form content or shorts content to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If that sounds interesting, well, please check out this video.